All right. Nelson here, joined by producer Nick. Hey, guys. And Sunday, we went and watch Oppenheimer. And now, we're going to talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. We're going to give you a spoiler-free review. Yes. Um, we went watch it Sunday. And the reason we, our original idea was to do like an after action review, like right from the vehicle, right. like we did with Ghostbusters. While it was fresh. While it was fresh. The problem is, after the damn movie, <clears throat> like neither one of us could think a rational thought. At least I couldn't. It was, it was a lot. It's the movie, the is, movie a is a lot. Yeah. And <clears throat> so we decided, look, we're just going to take some time and, you know, kind of let think it, think it over, let it die down a little bit. And then we're going to come back and, and just kind of talk about it. It was it was one of those. It had to digest. Right. It had to digest and be given some thought. And so I'm going to start out by saying there may be minor spoilers, but it's more of things you should probably already know. Yeah. Right, I mean, since this is a historical it, this stuff, picture. The stuff actually happened. I guess it just depends on what you know about Correct. the actual guy and the actual Which story. I didn't know a whole heck of a lot, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the, the, the movie, when I walked out, the first thing I thought of was, wow. Yeah. Okay. And it wasn't so much a wow that it was just so awesome. It was a wow that... I felt for three hours, they punch you in the face yes. with information. It's it's three hours of they start, it starts fast and it does not slow down. Not to say that it's action packed or there's no action in it really. It's a lot of just like you, drama and like you said, information. They're just throwing things at you from the beginning. It yep. it starts and it just here here's not. this guy. This is what he does. Here this guy. This is what yeah. he does. Um, this is taking place five years after. This is yeah. taking place when he's a young man, and and there's this, no frame of reference. You kind of have to already know about what you're getting into, right? You have to know about so the the atomic bomb thing and the testing and all that stuff. That's always in the background, but that's really not what the movie's about. Correct. It's a and it's but a that's what they that's what the trailer makes it look like. Right, right. The trailer makes it look like the majority of the movie is yeah. just developing the a mom and testing it and getting it ready in case we need it that's what you think yeah. the movie is just going to be about and it's not it's a biopic i definitely went in with certain expectations and it was nothing like what i expected not to say it wasn't great it was it was brilliant the acting was i can't think of a more awesome cast that did a more awesome job from beginning to end every single person everybody was great it was it was unbelievable but um, here but here's the pro and look i've said this before and I, don't, I think i was with uh i did a video with donovan where we mentioned um he mentioned like the dark knight he thought was one of his greatest movies ever made mm -hmm. and i have to disagree with any christopher nolan movie being <laughs> one of the greats because his style i love it and i hate it at the yeah. same time I don't like the quick cuts from person to person, constantly in a conversation. Yeah. Um, it's and it obvious. Was fast. Right, and it's all of his movies are like that. Yeah. It's obvious that there's way more dialogue between these two characters, but he cuts so much of it out. He edits it out. Yeah. Um, and it's every conversation that any characters have in any of his movies. Yeah. And it kind of drives me bananas. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned Dark Knight. That's on the everyone's top ten list of greatest movies of all time. I don't, I don't. Agree. I love the Dark Knight. Right, but is it one of the greatest no, movies of all time? I, I don't think so. I don't get that. It's not even. It's not even the best Christopher Nolan movie. Right. The best Chris. The best Christopher Nolan movie is The Prestige. In yeah, my opinion, I like The Prestige. That's that's his best work. And and they're saying that about this. They're saying you know I, I read mm. Masterpiece. I read greatest movie to come out this century things no, like that no i, I don't i that. don't agree with that it was great and it was awesome and i think... this century that would mean that it's better than shawshank i don't think so right there's no way i well, can watch shawshank yeah. redemption 
once a week. Yeah. This movie, I might watch it one more time to kind of see what, you know, because some things I was confused on. Yeah. So just to clarify some things for me, but there is no way I can see myself watching this movie for the rest of my life because, oh, man, I feel like watching Oppenheimer. And I agree with that. It's not it's not something that I'll watch it again. Um, I'll probably purchase it. Yeah, but oh, yeah, yeah. Especially it's not because something... Christopher Nolan is a big proponent of like physical media yeah. and and that kind of kind of yeah. type of stuff. It's just not something that you can just put on, just put on at any yeah, time. Yeah, nah, It's not I, Jurassic yeah. Park. It's not Star Wars. You can't just put it on and have it on. You've got to be paying really close attention to this movie. If you get up to pee while watching this movie, you're gonna miss so much. Yeah. There, yeah. it's 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 that fast. So with all that being said, it is a good movie. Yes. I'm not saying it's it's not. It's just it is not what I expected. Um, it's also what I expected with Christopher Nolan's style. I was just kind of hoping it wouldn't be as bad, but yeah. it was. Yeah. I mean, it might have been worse. Somebody described it as a three-hour montage. Yeah. And that's kind of what it is. Yeah, one of because the, um, nothing's linear. It jumps back and forth in yeah, time. It does ju jump back and forth, and they do a good job of. Like you can tell what's because it's in so yeah. it's in black and white, so you can tell what's in the past and you can the age makeup. It. Yeah. Oh my, that was amazing. The the aging on everyone, on everyone was right. amazing. Um. But yeah, one of the one of the people I work with described it as um, brilliant. She's she said she had never been seen something so brilliant, but been so bored at the same time. Yeah. And I, I'm bored. I think is a strong word. I don't. Yeah. I don't ever remember feeling bored. No. Um, it went too fast. I was, my description was overwhelmed and underwhelmed at the same time. Yes. Yeah. I was overwhelmed with information and everything that was being thrown at me. Yeah. But I was underwhelmed in my enjoyment of it. Yeah. And it might have been because you know that. that's that's a really good way to say it. Like it was great, but it wasn't super enjoyable. Right. It, it was it was like a it was almost like a chore. It was like homework sometimes. I don't know. And I had watched. Um, I've never, exp I've never had a movie watching experience like this. I can right. say that. I, I feel the same way. And I know, you know, I know a little bit about the guy and what happened, and I've seen documentaries and things like that. And it seems, from based on what I've seen, it seems true to form. Like this is the stuff that happened and how it happened and who said what and all this stuff. It seems pretty accurate based on my novice layman opinion based on the things i've seen you know yeah. on the internet and on tv and stuff um one thing we we both agreed we mentioned it a couple of days ago is that it feels like it could have been a series it um, should have been yeah a series yeah. and it didn't have to be a long one it could have been like a, a six hour like a six episode mm -hmm. kind of like um uh, the jeffrey dahmer yes series yeah. or uh chernobyl you know something like that yeah and they would have been made able, itself a lot better. He would have been like able that. to flesh out the characters a little bit more and giving you some freaking time to digest <laughs> what was happening. I mean, yeah. it all happened so fast. And I, I think that's a lot to do. He tried to, it, it was a lot of information to put in a feature film. Yeah. And it, it, it should have been. And it was three hours to begin. A limited with. series. Correct. You, you could have, you could have easily doubled that time. Yeah. And made it. A little bit easier to understand. Yeah. Because I'm I'm telling you, I'm not joking. It's he even noticed because I you can tell when they were in post production, they were editing. He had mentioned somebody early on, mm -hmm. and like two hours into the movie, they mention him again, and they show like a little, they show him yeah. real quick when he when he met the guy, because. Christopher Nolan's like, okay, they've done met probably 30 characters already. They, We're gonna they're have not to gonna remind know everyone who this right. guy They're not is, gonna yeah. know who he is. We gotta show him again. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's just a lot. Yeah. And it is again, it's very engaging. Like my face was glued to the screen the entire oh, yeah. time. Absolutely. Wasn't, never got bored, never checked my watch, never looked at my phone, none of that stuff. Like when you're it, it just it starts at 60 miles an hour and it goes. The There's not even opening time. credits. It's you a notice? marathon. Yeah. The movie yeah. starts and it's just like, you're, there's visuals. Yeah. You know, you're seeing, um, I don't even remember what it was. I guess it was an atom or something. Atoms and all that stuff. It, it just immediately. I was yeah. waiting for some credits. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it just, I was like, oh, I got to start paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it starts and, and doesn't stop. Cillian so. Murphy, whether or not he, 
that's how Oppenheimer acted or his body length, whatever it was, his performance was still great. Yes. Whether it was accurate or not, yeah. it was awesome. I believed that he was that person. Yeah. You know, I believe that he was, was it J. Robert uh, Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer, yeah. Um, yeah, so everybody was fantastic. What's the other name of the movie? I was wondering. I want, no, I meant the J. Robert. <laughs> I, I think it's J. Robert Oppenheimer, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, he did a great job. Um, Emily Blunt, there's a scene, there's a scene towards the end when they're talking to the people and doing the thing where she she shined she was awesome if not only for that one scene um she was unbelievable florence Pugh, who i have a major crush on if you're watching huh um, what huh? what uh she had not that much screen time but she was great and she um, she wasn't clothed for there was half a of couple it. of times yeah <laughs> If she had 10 minutes of screen time. Five, five minutes, was, she was not clothed. Was sans clothes. <laughs> um, Matt Damon was all. Oh, yeah. Anytime He's... Matt Damon gets mad and starts yelling at somebody, that's my favorite version of Matt Damon. Yes, he was like that in uh, Ford versus Ferrari when he was, uh, oh, no. uh, <laughs> what's his name? Carol Shelby. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, I don't know. It was just a very good movie. But I don't want to say not because it, it it's not bad. Like you said, I've never really seen anything like it. Right. I, well, I've never had an experience like that yeah. where I thought it was really good, but yet not that good at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely different than, than what we expected going in or what I expected going in. Um, great. And... The visuals were awesome for what you know what they have. So, if you're wondering if you need to go watch this in IMAX or anything, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, it was neat to watch in the theater, even though the one that we went to, um, the screen was bothering me. Um, the screen itself wasn't very good; it needed to be replaced, and the projection was um, I forget what they call it, but it was Keystone for some reason. It wasn't flat. Yeah, you probably didn't notice, but I noticed I since know. I have a projector in here, I noticed things like that. So it, it it bothered me a little bit. So, you know, if you maybe IMAX is better. I don't yeah. know. It was just a little distracting because of the theater we went to. The sound, I guess, was OK. I mean, it was just loud. It was as loud. Like, get yeah. out. Yeah. But that, most of his movies are. Oh, and that was another when complaint. thing happened. I just about crap my pants. <laughs> yeah. Christopher Nolan. I did jump. Mm -hmm. It made me jump. Mm -hmm. Christopher Nolan has a tendency to mm -hmm. mix his music really hot, like really loud. Mm -hmm. And you can put in any Christopher Nolan Blu-ray you want. If you have surround sound, you will notice it's hard to hear the dialogue when the music is going. Okay. Um, he, he just has that tendency. It's uh, I think it's just his how he likes his movies his to sound. His preference. His mix. His preference. But um, yeah, so... Ah, <sighs> yeah. I guess that's all we can say, really. Without um, yeah. The um, the the most interesting and fun and cool parts are what you expect when you know the, the they, test and the bomb and the all bomb that test stuff. and all that and um, it's it's uh, everything leads up to that and then you got an hour and a half after that. Yeah. Well, what? So. And it's obvious that Christopher Nolan didn't care or he wasn't. The focus wasn't about what the a-bomb did because there's absolutely zero footage or zero shots no, of japan no none of that there's stuff. Nothing. they they talk about it happens off screen or whatever they talk about it um but that's that's really it and i yeah i kind of i i'm you know thinking about it now i wish they would have spent more on what it how it affected him after because they get into the political stuff. Yes, a lot of it is on the how political they, side of it. Right, how they they tried to smear his name. Yeah, the politicians. Yeah, tried to you know make all the negative press about the bombs, make it be his fault. Right, but you don't actually really get to see or hear him talk about how it affected him. You see, it's really only facial expressions. Yeah, and there's there's a little bit because he talks about how he you know he did it for his country and this and that and just the the after the after effects of it um i can't imagine the man slept a, a good night's sleep for the rest after of that his life. yeah there's no way you know no way you whether it needed to happen or not 
And then the and fact then, that you know you you created something that <clears throat> killed two hundred and sixty thousand people, and then for him for him to be questioned like he was after like his his loyalty, his yeah, patriotism, his patriotism, and yep. all that stuff. It's I I've, I'm very interested in that. Like I I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of that. But I mean, like well, they may it may be in there. I mean, I'm sure they filmed enough to probably do a <laughs> ten hour movie. Yeah. Um, but they had to cut it down to get it feature length and then it's longer than feature length it's three hours so yeah. it's three hours it's oh it's every bit of three hours because I, I checked my watch started at like 11 11 22 and it finished at 122 yeah or 220 with 222 oh yeah it was 222 and I, I was like wow exactly three hours yeah. there it is yeah i thought maybe it was with the uh, what do you call it the previews, oh, the previews and stuff and all that yeah no, no that was it was three, three hours, hours is the runtime of the movie yeah um, which it didn't, I never, I, like I said, I never got bored. I never, like, when is this going to end? It didn't, well, it didn't, in a way, it didn't feel like three hours in a way it did. I want to say towards the end, in the last, like, 15, 20 minutes, I may have done this. Oh, yeah? Once. You see, I've never. And I, and I look, I don't fall asleep in movies. Right. That's not something I do. Right. But I think after a while, daddy was getting tired. Like, it was, yeah. I, and I know my posterior was very stiff. Yeah, by the there end. was some shifting going on, definitely. But um, I don't know. I I think it's movie that a movie that needs to be seen. I I, I, I definitely absolutely. recommend it. I recommend it. Not saying you need to rush out to the theater to see it. If yeah. you know, I mean, because we all know going to the movies is expensive. Yeah, unless you have one um, of those IMAX, those because it only showed in like nineteen theaters in IMAX or something. Like only only nineteen theaters could show it. On the true IMAX whatever, aspect ratio or whatever, yeah, there were only 19 theaters in the nation, is what I had read. Yeah. Um, so the the aspect ratio we theater. probably saw that saw it was probably we probably there was a lot cut out or something. I don't know. Um, aspect ratios are confusing. Yeah. I, I don't know the difference between um, regular 16 by 9, uh, 181. To, I think it's 181 to one, which is what fills up your whole screen, yeah. like on a TV. And then there's the two, three, five by one. That's where you get your black bars. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the difference is between the 185 to one and IMAX. Like, I don't know how that works. Just, I know you don't know. You're just saying numbers, <laughs> man. 12. 12. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, that's you that's really all I got. Um, I, I do think it was great. But like you said, it's just a weird, different experience. Um, definitely go see it. Yeah, don't not go see it because right. of us if you really really want to by all means yeah but if you are on the fence i can tell you it'll be okay to watch at home yeah hey it's an important movie i think i think definitely everyone should see it i definitely recommend it i should say if you don't want to go see it i don't care but uh yeah it's it should be seen i i, I think it's an important movie um shouldn't be at least if you watch it at home you can rewind like right. oh what i miss yeah yeah there who was that be a little <laughs> bit of that um yeah it was it was fun it cool. was fun all right producer nick well i think that'll about wrap it up like subscribe tell your friends all that good stuff and we will catch you on the next one later see you